So, ladies and gentlemen, this is CFS 10, and we are live and exclusive on Leapfrog by TV, where this contest will be fought for the ISKA Muay Thai World Title. Over five three-minute rounds of full Muay Thai rules in the 59 kilogram division. So let's get the action started by welcoming into the black corner. She comes with a record of 31 wins, 11 losses. She's the former WBC world champion fighting out of the Corfit UK gym. It's the Princess of Pain, Lucy Pain. And facing her this evening in the white corner. She comes with a record of 16 wins, three losses, one draw. She's the Muay Thai Grand Prix British champion fighting out of the shin kick and 21st century gym. It's Katie Zetalovsky. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Chris Batchelor. It's a big fight on a big night here at CFS 10. The ISKA world title at 59 kgs up for grabs. Lucy Payne, Katie Zetalovsky. One will be leaving as a world champion. Both look in great condition ahead of this one. In fighting careers, you pray you get nights like this, Dave Fence. And what a huge occasion for these two in the ring and everybody here. Yeah, this is a massive fight. I'm really excited about this one. Both girls huge at the weight, but Lucy Payne is just massive at 59 kilos. And look at the condition she's in. Tall, long, as you say, well conditioned. And both very experienced. Zetalovsky, 20 fights into her career. Payne, 40 fights into her career. But do you think tonight it's going to be who handles the occasion? Potentially, it could be a game, a game plan thing for me. It'll be interesting to see how Lucy comes out. I haven't seen her fight for a while. I think zetalovsky has been more active lately in general. So could that take its toll? Who knows? Payne has always been great in the clinch. Look at the separation on her deltoid muscles. Yeah. It's just insane condition that she's in. Well, as you say, both look massive at the weight, but Lucy, the taller of the two, to sort of boil down to 59 kgs when you're that size is no easy feat. But of course, making the weight, getting into the condition for huge occasions like this with a world title up for grabs. Both landing decent shots, good range finders early on. Hey, just working that lead leg of Zetlowski. Zetalovsky looking to work off the counter as well, isn't she? Waiting for Payne to throw the jab and then snapping back immediately, testing those reflexes early on. Plenty of time in this fight, though. This round one of five. Yeah, they're still sussing each other out here. Nice body kicking from Zetalovsky, and again. They face off here, hands high. No one in a rush to do any good work yet. Oh, the right hand, though, from Zetalovsky again. It was a counter shot, waited for the gap, then exploited it. Just over 30 seconds of round one to go. Fact find a mission for both of these fighters. The cuffing left hand there from Payne. Is there anything that you've picked up on in these opening two and a half minutes or so, Dave? I like the way that Zetlowski kicks the body a little bit more. I'd like to see her still work on that at the end of all the combinations. She's popping a body kick in. There you go. For me, that's the defining factor at the moment. Nice jab through the guard. Yeah. Again, answers at the end with a, a body kick. 
and Zetolovsky struts back to the corner at the end of round one like somebody who's enjoying her time to shine. Certainly is, and what an occasion this is. ISKA Muay Thai world title on the line. It's a big night, isn't it? You had title fights in your career. How did they differ in terms of the preparation, in terms of the fight night itself, in terms of the feelings you had when you were actually in the ring? I think for me, it's more about the opponent even sometimes than the belt. Uh, no disrespect to any belts, obviously. Yeah. We love you all. But, but this is a prestigious fight. Like Lucy Payne has been in there with some of the best in the world. She's a great opponent for Katie Zetlowski to test herself against. And I feel like that, for me, is what on the night is going to be the pressure, taking on someone like Lucy Payne. And for Lucy, Lucy's been here before. She's been through the mill, done this. Haven't seen her fight for a little while, but I've always loved watching her fight. Good catch and drop there. At the start of round two. It's, it's fascinating you talk about the caliber of opponents as well, because we look at Lucy Payne's record, 31 and 11, but it's more about the fact that it's 42 fights of top level and the fact that she's earned the respect of people. It's not necessarily about how many you've won and lost that defines you. It's who you've challenged yourself against. Exactly that. Better to have a few losses against some extremely good caliber opponents and you will grow a lot more from those fights than battering easy people. Like in the Western boxing world, sometimes they tend to pad out the, yeah. the career at the start. Muay Thai isn't like that. And again, you talk about all due respect to, to belts, all due respect to fighters as well. Anybody who gets in and does it deserves respect, but I've been at some Western boxing nights here at York Hall, and it was one person who was a boxer and one person who I'm not sure if they were or not. Yeah. But at this level of Muay Thai, that is very, very rarely, if ever, the case, as Payne looks to snap that high kick up. I'm pretty sure this is for the number one spot in the UK as well which is nice to be the best in your country and the best in the world at your weight. Again, Payne managed to get the right hand through the guard, but those hands up top don't seem to be doing much damage. Zetolovsky still standing her ground, looking to get more good work off with a Payne body shot round the corner. So you mentioned Payne's strength in the clinch. At what point in the fight do you think she might start to go to work there, try and make that close quarters combat really count? Well, to be fair, I feel like Zetolovsky's matched her in the clinch so far. I would be a little bit more concerned about Lucy Payne's elbows. Very skilled clinching and elbows. But right now, Zetolovsky's doing really yeah. well. Very evenly matched, these two. It's nice to see. Five three-minute rounds as well. We'll expect the pace to go up as we go through them. And in those championship rounds, that's when everything's burning, isn't it? It's the massive test as Zetolovsky gets through with the right hand. Payne setting herself a little bit more here. Eats a knee from Zetolovsky. Zetolovsky kicking nicely. So 
Him and David Zatlovsky, of course, Katie's husband. And right on the bell for round three, Zatlovsky throws a one-two and looks to dominate that ring position again. Catches the kick. I know Jesse was saying to step to the side when she moves off, step side and block her out. And that's what Katie just did a minute ago. And this is where it's going to be interesting. Payne is very long limbed. So in the clinch, in the long clinch like that, when it's not so tight, that's when she's got a real advantage. Yeah, Zetsalovsky. Right but in the previous clinch got the more knees away, but now is this where Payne can start to dominate? At the moment, Zetsalovsky just looks physically stronger, doesn't she? A hand across the face, backing Payne up onto the ropes. She and they're going get... knee for knee. Yeah, she's better closer now. Zetlovsky's better being in close. The long clinch from Payne is, is nice. Now she's waiting too long. Need to see her go to work. Nice elbow, but didn't step in enough on that. Zetlovsky. She needs to really step forward to close the distance on those elbows. That's better work now. Shot for shot, these two. First real combo we've seen Payne throw, but Zetalovsky equal to it. Then runs a good kick to the ribs and spins in with the elbow. Zetalovsky. Left elbow. Nice block by Payne. Lovely work from these two. Really admire the way Payne will land that kick to the body and then Zetalovsky will take a step back but then just step straight back in. She just wants to engage. Yeah. Needs to tie those arms up. Zetalovsky needs to tie the right arm of Payne up, tuck that left hand into her armpit. This batch of them calls them back in. 45 seconds around three to go. We're over halfway through. Nice, oh. nice work. Needs to knee over the top of that. Payne using the teeth. Keep her at range. Goes for the low kick. Stepping off. This is where nice work from Zetlovsky. Holding balance. Yeah, that's key, isn't it? She goes to take the leg there, but Zetlovsky strong enough to stay. Corner dropped the towel then, and, and I the thought they'd thrown it in. Thrown God, it as well. Could know. you imagine? Imagine the referee thought that. Well, the fight is controlled by the referee. It doesn't matter if the corner throws the towel in. The referee can kick it back out if he wants. That's what Muay Thai is. That's the facts. The referee controls the fight. Three rounds in. This has been an excellent, entertaining fight, but this is where the dynamic changes. This is where things start to hurt a little bit more mentally, physically, your lungs are tired, your body's tired, but this is where you need to be at your best. These final two rounds are where this World Championship's won and lost. And this is where experience takes its toll. As we said, Lucy Payne, 42 fights versus uh, Katie Zetanovsky's 20 fights. So she's literally had half, double the number of fights. Is that gonna be apparent here tonight? Well, stick around to find out. I love the fact we're three minutes into this and both of these fighters will believe that they'll be leaving this ring of world champions. This one well and truly in the balance. Three well, down, and two to go for the around. ISKA 59kg world championship and again it's Zetalovsky. Yeah, Barely even waits for the bell to finish ringing before she starts swinging leather. Uh, I like the way she throws with such power as well. She really throws it in hard whether it's a kick or a knee look at her pushing lucy payne back now and then payne responds with a teeth to the torso big score in round round four again it's setzelovsky backing payne up onto the ropes they both step back to the middle nice hands from payne and then has to go up top with the kick. Nice knee from Zetlovsky, pushing her opponent back. There's 
big strong knees from Zetalovsky. Kick for kick, these two, aren't yeah. they? Fights like this, where I'm glad we commentate, not and judge. Yeah. As you say, it's kick for nice kick. Nice kick from Payne. Massive test of the tank. I think anybody who gets in the ring with Katie Zetalovsky is going to have their conditioning challenge because she just wants to engage and come forward and walk you down and fight the fight at her own pace, which is invariably a pretty frantic one. Nice pushing forward from Zetalovsky now. And she's Payne answering back. And she's timed that well too, isn't she? Because Payne slightly miscued the tee, but didn't catch Zetalovsky, and she saw that and just walked straight in nice off the back of it. Oh, a nice jab from Zetalovsky. Yeah, knocked the gum shield loose of uh, Lucy Payne. Oh, Payne trying to snap that elbow in there. Zetalovsky needs to step back from that. It's a real war of attrition here, isn't it? Payne's going to knee over the top of that. Last 30 seconds of round four. Who can finish stronger? Zetalovsky taking the centre again. Mm. Oh, a nice kick round the corner as well. Shins across the ribs. Final few seconds to make an impact then. The penultimate round. Nice shot. Answered straight back by Payne. Payne playing on the outside, but Zetalovsky coming forward the entire Venue. And one of these girls about to make history tonight. Absolutely. You see what I did there? Thanks. <laughs> Here we go. Fifth and final round. Both swinging from the rafters to begin with. Lucy Payne and Katie Zetalovsky for the world title. Both have been a credit to themselves and their gyms. Their conditioning has been spot on, but now this is the difference maker. A good two and a half minutes here could be the difference between leaving a world champion and wondering what could have been. I want to see Zetalovsky kicking more again. Payne is starting to kick more in this round. Good knee from Zetalovsky. Lovely body kicks from both girls, one for one. Talk to me about the timing of Payne's kicks, because she looks to be getting quite close, and it's the, the shins landing around the ribs as opposed to the foot. Would you like to see it a little bit rangier? No, it's nice getting the shin like that. That's what you want. But that was great work from Zetlowski there when she got her kick caught. Held balance, held position. She chases down the return nicely, Zetlowski. Answering back all the time. Walks straight through the teeth. Needs to get back to her kicking now. And then they get tangled up in the middle and the clinch begins. It's Zetalovsky and then spun around by Payne into the corner. She gets the knees away. Bit of reddening on the rib cage of Zetalovsky now on that right hand side. Some of those kicks, those heavy shins landing from Lucy Payne. I want to see Zetalovsky come forward more. Payne is coming forward in this round. Pushing forward with the teeth. Experience yeah. is showing. And that little switch of the feet on the way in as well. Just keeping Zetalovsky guessing. 
Nice body kick from Payne. Scores and moves. Scores again. Tries to evade the counter, but Zetalowski scores back. Oh, then Zetalowski right with the elbow. Then the hand across the face. Looks up there, a little glimpse at the, the timer. 40 seconds to go. It's amazing how conscious she is in the clinch as well, Zetalowski. Just so aware of everything that's going on. It's a, a little, little back elbow there. This is a great final round. Neither of these are going to leave anything in there. Final 30 seconds. Both need to go to work. It is knee for knee in the clinch. And then Payne lands a couple more. Good defense from Zetalowski. She reads the kick. They're all bouncing off hands and legs. And Payne nice really kick. climbs into that one. Spinning back fist from Zetalowski. And then the right hand. Heavy leather from Katie Zetalowski at the end of round five. Wow, what a finish. <laughs> well, Jesse's up. He thinks Katie's done enough. The rightful show of respect between the two fighters in the ring. Five sensational rounds. Yeah, I can't help but feel like Zetalowski's taking that. Even though that was a strong finish from Payne. Round three and four were big rounds for Zetalowski. All round lovely gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the ISKA world title belt, Mr. Tim Isley. Both these two ladies left it all in the ring. What a fantastic world title belt. A round of applause. Come on. And after five incredible rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the ringside judges. Where our judges have reached a unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new ISKA Muay Thai Champion of the World. In the white corner, Katie Zetolovsky. It's a unanimous decision that comes at the end of not just five rounds, but a career of hard graft to 21st. Muay Thai bout ends in a glorious victory and an ISKA world title. Katie Zetalowski is the champion of the world. Wow, what a fight. Katie Zetalowski put the work in there. Lucy Payne had a nice strong finish. It just was too little too late. Zetalowski pushing the action right from round one. Really earned that. That, that is what you call a great fight. When you have to work hard, you have to push hard, you fight a quality, world-class opponent, and you go in there and you take the world-class world, world -class win. Congratulations, Katie Zetalowski. Ah, beautiful celebrations. I hope they continue for a long time as well, and I hope we get to see her back at CFS defending that world title. Let's talk about the credibility of that win then, because Lucy Payne, 31 victories at a good level, 42 fights, and she'd have come here wanting to leave with that belt exactly the same amount that uh, Katie Zetalowski would have. That's hard earned, and she has earned that against a serious, serious fighter on the scene. And I think that will mean the most. You can, you can set some fights up, and you can beat some people, but when you fight a top class opponent and you win in style like that that is a great great win something to go down in history oh well, once again ladies and gentlemen your new iska champion of the world katie zetalovsky